Hello and welcome to episode 191 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode will be on covering some of the changes with update 1.7.0.0. I say some because obviously there will be some things we've not we've missed. <clears throat> like for example the dirt to sand and sand to dirt change, but first say hello rainstorm. Hi everyone, Rainstorm here. Okay, so there was a lot in this update. Well, I say a lot. There was specifically some really cool things that they've added. And the first and coolest has to be the creature cages. So that's where Rainstorm and I thought we would start uh, recording in this episode. So we'll start with creature cages. Now, we're going to cover several things as we go along, as you can see by all of the piles of items so we'll just see how we go I mean rainstorms looked into it all extensively and we've both had a good look at cages but things can still go south as well we know so anyway right here I've got a pile of items first of all for the cage to make a cage you need 17 large nails 6 fence bars and 25 planks so let's open up my pocket and let's tell you what skills you need in order to make a creature cage so you will require it will require that you have 60 in your carpentry skill and uh, if well actually I'll mention that in a bit so for the creature cage you just need to make sure you have 60 60 at least in carpentry if I bring my skills up you'll see I've got 81 so we're easily there so let's grab all of this there we go okay now I'm going to use the crafting window in here you just type CRE which is for creature and it will bring up your creature transporter and the creature cage that's the one we're looking at so if I expand this down you'll see there's the components that I've listed to you 25 planks, 17 large nails and 6 fence bars so I'm going to add that to the crafting window and it's selected there you can see 77% chance of me doing this so let's create this looks like it could take a few attempts there we go right so now we need to right click the cage add that to the crafting window and so I need to now add the rest of these items so let's do that whack that up to four okay let's do the planks it leaves a lot of them And last the large nails. Cool, wow, you can see like how many times uh, it, it fails and that's with a skill of 80 in carpentry. Right, and there we go. So we now have a creature cage. Let's take a look at it. Close some of these windows. Okay, so now I'm going to read through the notes on the cage before um, I demonstrate with an animal on the cage. And also, Rainstorm, if I miss anything out in these notes, if you could just please mention that. But first, okay. I'll, re I'll read the notes out. So, okay. The creature cage, as I've mentioned previously, requires 60 carpentry skill to create and continue must you must have uh, 23 body strength in order to load a cage onto a vehicle uh, you cannot load pr 
pregnant animals. You cannot load hurt animals. Um, you cannot load a creature with animals, with items, sorry, on it. Not animals, that'd be a bit silly. So yeah, if a creature like a horse has a saddle bag, you have to make sure you take every item out of the saddle bag and the saddle bag off of the horse. There are specific models for the following stored creatures. So for bison, sheep, ram, cows, bulls, horses, foals, and hell horses, they all, you, as you're going to see in a moment, have a correct uh, graphic. If you store any other creatures than what I've just mentioned, they will have an enclosed, enclosed cage graphic that you'll see. You can store a max of four creature cages on a tile. A caged animal will move it around and cause damage to the cage, and I'm going to show that. Uh, when a cage hits 80 damage, the animal will escape. And also, actually, I'm going to mention at that point that you can't um, upgrade, improve, and you can't repair a cage when while it has an animal in it. So bear that in mind. If an animal escapes a cage while in a boat in water, the animal will end up in the water and begin taking damage if they're not a swimming animal. If aggroed and not tamed, you will not be able to tame them while swimming. So on that subject of taming, for creature cages, you, you can only put creatures in the cage which you can lead. So what that basically equates to is any creature like chickens, cows, pigs, uh, you can automatically lead them, so there's no problem. But if it's a dog, a crocodile, or any other aggressive creatures, you first will have to tame them before you can lead them. So that's what that's all about. Uh, yeah, I've already mentioned you cannot repair or improve a cage if it is storing an animal. The number of cages that can be carried by a vehicle are as follows. First of all, I'm going to say to you that you cannot use a cart, large cart, rowing boat or sailing boat to store animal cages. So in the following vehicles though, you can store this amount of cages. With a caravel you can store 8 cages, a cog can store 6 cages, a corbiter 5, a nar 4 and a wagon stores 2 cages. And a creature transporter, which we're going to look at next, can store four cages. So that's why you would build a creature transporter over a wagon. Although in reality, you know what, if I've already got a wagon, I'll just simply use that to do two trips. But we're going to show the creature transporter anyway. Okay, is there anything else, Rainstorm, that you can think of that I've not just mentioned about that creature cage? No, I think you've pretty much covered it. I did, didn't I? I mean, there was a lot of talking going on there. I don't know if it was waffle or whether it was actually relevant, but there was a lot of waffling. <laughs> no, but there's a lot of details that are with these things. What I think is really cool is it, it does look like um, it's just a, a cage sitting on the ground. Yeah. Um, I don't know, and nobody's been able to tell me, that if those cages have a solid floor... It looks like it's got whatever's an empty floor, right? So right now it's sitting on top of dirt. It looks like dirt. If you put it on grass, it looks like the base is grass. Um, so are the animals actually eating if it's sitting on grass? I don't think so. Well, because when you, when you load it onto a boat, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if they eat when they're in the cage. That was one thing that nobody can tell me. Well, I know I'd eat if I was in a cage. But we can always test it out anyway, can't we? We can, like, put an animal in there that we haven't fed for a few days and uh, throw some food in. We'll soon find out if it eats or not. So we can do that, perhaps, can't we, as a little test and update it as an addendum in another episode, which will be a good one, won't it? <laughs> right, well, so, okay, so that's the details of the cage. Thank you very much, Rainstorm, for mentioning all of that. Let's now demonstrate putting a creature in a cage. So we're going to need a rope or a halter rope. Thankfully, 
in my tools I should have a halter rope um, there it is okay so you need to activate your rope right click the animal and lead you then walk over to the cage and right click on the cage and then load creature bang and there you go you see so there's the animal in the cage if we just quickly check the damage no damage so watch what happens so hopefully it's not too docile this sheep so we could drop some um, food in there for it and we'd soon find out if it was going to eat or not do you have anything that sheep likes to eat have you got any grass <laughs> Well, there's the grass right there on the Oh, there, ground. let me grab it. Let's do that. Yeah, so you can just walk through cages. You don't have to open a door or anything. That's really good. I like that. But can I drop this grass in the right place? So, look, if you open up, if you right-click on the cage, it says open. Can you put food in ah, there with it? That's a good idea. Yeah, let's try that. I didn't try that. <laughs> no, you can't do that. That's a shame. But it doesn't matter. If we can drop it on the ground and it lands on this tile, I'm still a happy bunny. Alright, so it's going to have to chew a bit of bar, but it should be able to get to the grass and a war arrow. So we'll see can, if it eats. And you can move the cages, supposedly. Try to see if you can move it. Okay. Can you right click and move? Yeah. So now it's not chewing on a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Right, that should do it, shouldn't it? Okay, has it done any walking yet? I don't think it has, no. So, I mean, it's good. It's meaning that when you're going along on one of your hunting trips and you unload your boat along the bank and you load a, unload a cage every, say, 50 yards or whatever, and you put a creature in the first cage, then for the other three cages, you haven't got to worry too much that that first cage is going to get destroyed in, like, 10 minutes. Because as you can see here, this animal is just... This sheep is just happily... To standing there still so it's not walking around so it's not damaging now, the cage but it does do it eventually did, it did say that they will damage it as they get taken out so you can try that and put it back in oh um yeah when we when we put it onto the trans well we're not going to take the animal out so oh, do it now <laughs> okay right yeah good point because i need to show how to get the animals out it's all well and good showing how to put an animal in but you've also got a shower to get it out. So to get it out, right click on the cage and open. Right click, uh, activate your rope or halter rope, which remember mine is still activated as you can see down there. Then right click the sheep and unload creature. There you go. I'm going to put him back in because we want to see if he, he's going to chew that grass. And damage the cage. So there you go though, that's how you get your animal out. And thank you, Rainstorm. Very good that you remembered that. So he's back in there. We'll see if she eats or damages the cage. Okay, so I'll just keep my eyes on the event window for for that. Whilst we progress, because it's all about progress, isn't it, in this day and age? Whilst we progress on to the next item which is the animal transporter the creature transporter i should say correct yeah right so yep. let's let's do that we're on a roll here we haven't gone too much south as of yet so let's open this and in there you'll see the components we need in order to make a creature transporter and I, don't, don't, I hope I'm not lagging out here. Oh, there we go. 
Right, okay, so you need 10 planks, 2 logs, 4 shafts, 4 small nails, 1 yoke and 2 small wheel axles in order to make a creature transporter. So I'm going to make it uh, next to this cage. Shall I come around this? I'll uh, make it here, shall I, outside the gate? That's Come on, we've got to hook the horses up to it, just drop it in here. Oh, true, yeah, let's do it here. You're going to you're gonna have to load the uh, crate, I mean the creature cage, so you might as well build it close to the cage. Yeah, I'm going to do it here then. Yeah, that's just okay. what actually I was thinking, so let's do it here. Right, okay, I'm going to use the recipe window again, because it makes life so simple when it's not kicking you in the parts which hurt. Okay, so creature, that's all you type in, CRE. And up here you can see creature transporter. So if we have a look at that, you'll see there's all the components I just listed to you. So I'm going to add that to the crafting window. And let's... She's damaged the cage, by the way. Oh, has he? A she? She. Let's have a look. Oh, there you go. So we got a little bit of damage. I mean, it's not even point. It's not even one. So it's such a small amount. And once you've released the animal, then you can repair it and improve it. I think it's beautiful. I think the developers have ex outdone themselves as usual. They've excelled. Because isn't this something we've wanted for years and years and years, Rainstorm? Yes. Because when we were on, um, was it Xanadu? No, it was on, yeah, it was on Xanadu. There's lots of mountains along the water lines, right? And you can see all these animals, these sheep, these cows, and all this stuff. Or there's some on islands, and you don't have any near you, but you see all these animals there, and you can't get them because you had no way of transporting them from those locations back to your deed. Mm -hmm. um, the only animals that you could grab are those that could swim, which were the dogs and the, you know, and the horses. Mm. So we wanted the cages so that we could transport the cows and the sheep and the pigs and all that stuff that we would find in places that, you know, couldn't transport them from. Yeah, the amount of times we said, oh, if only we had a way to move them, and now we do. Right, okay, let's... Let's do this. So I'm going to create the creature transport just here. I've got a 91% chance. So let's just quickly go over the skills that you need. Well, skill. You need 25 in fine carpentry to create the creature um, transporter. So if I show you my fine carpentry, is that 51? Which I think I got up to create the wagon all them years ago. Right, okay, so let's do this. Let's create it. Right, there we go. There's the startings of a creature transporter. So what I'm going to do now is add that to the crafting window. There we go. So now I need to add these items. So let's start with the heavy yoke. Oh, I'm too far away. Okay, let's do the locks. Let's do the nails. Let's do the small wheel axle. The shafts. Raining in game and in real life over here. <laughs> is it? Yeah. yeah Except for it's a lot heavier here in real life than it is in the game. <laughs> oh yeah, no, the rain out there is really cool, isn't it? Right. So it's like tropical rain, isn't it? Where it pours yeah, down. Yeah, so it is heavy. here in the south. Here it's really it, heavy right now. Here it tends to drizzle, but it drizzles quite a lot, which is nice because it keeps the temperature just right. I looked up in. Uh, the, the rainfall for England versus here in the US and they're saying even though you rain almost every day there because it's drizzle we still have more rain because it comes down heavier here cool yeah it doesn't wow 
you know, pores. Sometimes you can't even see in in front of you. <laughs> it comes down so hard. Actually, you know That's... what? This is going to make a great screenshot for the thumbnail. So I'm going to do it while I'm thinking of it and got them both in my targets. So just going to quickly grab a shot of that so I can do that. Right, okay, so yeah, there's the creature transporter. So actually I should have put it the other way around because now the horse is going to be standing over the sheep. But I guess that don't really matter, does it? You going to do no. the horses? Yeah, I'm doing them right now. So brain Brainstorm's just going to lead them over and attach them to the uh, creature transporter. You can, um, While she's doing that, let's read through all the notes on the creature transporter. So, a cart designed to tra transport creature, creature cages over land. Creature transporters require 25 fi fine carpentry to start, which I've mentioned. Um, 20.1 mind logic is needed to command the creature transporter, which you should all have. Will not hold anything but cages, so don't try loading your crates can be dragged as well as have two animals hitched to it so rainstorm very kindly just hitch two horses or you can drag it though can cat but it'll be slow if you do can carry a maximum of four cages um, to load first drag or move the transporter very close to the cage then embark on the transporter from here right click the cage and select load cargo. You need 23 body strength uh, in order to load to get the load cargo function to load the cages. So let's do that. So if I come over here and hopefully I have the permission to do this to so embark as commander because we don't want to just sit there. Now if I right click the cage and load cargo there you go. And what yeah. I want to do now is get off so I can actually show you what it looks like. How cool is that? It's like it's all like in, encased, Close. yeah, enclosed with iron sheets, isn't it? Now, and that's what it looks like for animals that don't have the graphics. Ah, very good rainstorm, perfect. So, yeah, that's what the enclosed creature cage looks like. Um, yeah, I like that. Right, so, okay, we're going to go now to the dock, aren't we? Uh, so I'm going to get, do you want to drive and I'll be the passenger? Alright. But I'm going to have to be the one that loads the ship, I, I mean unloads it. Um, well, no, you can just disembark and then I'll get back on and do that. Boy, this, oh, you can't hear the thunder going on over here. <laughs> it's really rumbling outside. Is it? Yep. The horses, the hell horses are sticking their heads up saying, what's going on here? You ain't taking me anywhere. <laughs> I'll cook it. I'll burn it. That's a bug they haven't fixed yet. What's that? Um, with the corner, when you're tiling a corner with um, this gravel, it doesn't um, do the full corner. It looks like there's grass peeking up in a triangle shape. Ah, uh, you know what? I just love it. It actually looks cool, but yeah. it's not. Well, I just love all the updates they keep doing to worms, so I'm not too fussed about that. Let me shut the window quickly because there's a yapper. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. It's going yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's. Hopefully sorted the app out. Right. Hey, I disembarked. Oh, right. Okay, let me disembark and then I will get back on. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to attempt to show is, is unloading. unloading the um, animal, tran the creature transporter, so the cage from the creature transporter, and then loading it onto my boat, which is that one there with the uh, red flag. So let's do it. So I'm going to get back on as commander. I'm now going to my, oh, activate my halter rope. <clears throat> Remember, you have to activate that if you want to get the creature out as well. And then, creature transporter. Wait a minute, that says unlock. Oh, wait a minute, I've got to open it, haven't I? Having a silly moment here. And unload, wait a minute, creature cage. Yeah. No, unload cargo, that's it. There we go. I now just the knew. Humble Travels, the NAR right here, that's Anchor's um, NAR, it's available to everybody. It's, uh, anybody can use it, so you might be able to load into that one. It might be easier than to. Yeah, you know what, I think it will be, because that other one's just a bit too big. Yeah, so let's try that. So I'm going to get in this one as commander and let's see if it's close enough. Now I'm going to right click on that animal creature cage with Dolly in it and let's load cargo. And there you go. Now if I open this, you can see that there's the creature cage. Now let's see who can remember. How many creature cages can you load into a NAR? Was it three? <laughs> I don't remember what you said. <laughs> it was four. You was very close. Just remember it's the same as the creature transporter. Creature transporter. Yeah, which is another reason why it's perfect to use the NAR alongside the creature transporter because you can do four cages then in the whole trip. Right, okay, so the last thing to show, just unloading from the boat, let's open that up, oh it is open, and right click the cage and unload cargo. <laughs> unloaded it into the water. Yeah, but I should imagine I can just go back on to, let's try. Does to... that mean the poor sheep is uh, um, drowning? Yeah, it is, so let's do it quick. Or Dolly drowns. Right, so let's get back on there. Let's get back that cage and load. You need to be closer. All right, that's fine. You don't have to moan at me. Drown the horses. There we go. Now, let's go back up here and unload and see if Dolly's still alive. Or whether I drowned her. Uh. <laughs> and I'll give your horses something to eat at the same so, time. So, as a passenger, you sit on the back just like the wagon? Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. I didn't realize that. Why don't you just take it back up to the... Um, where are we going because we got to go build some stuff oh okay you know what that's logical i can't argue with that i can't even attempt to argue with that so i'm just going to do it <laughs> right okay oh you on as passenger is that what you're saying i was a passenger oh, wait, then, yeah, uh, i'll come and get you There you go. I'm on. So we're going back to the um, enclosure. Yeah. So on our little journey. Where's going? Huh? It, we're going to the right, not left. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, you changed it. You went and changed it on me. You didn't tell me. You didn't have any notice boards up saying new path going up to the left. No, it's the same path. Oh, is it? Oh, right. It's just me yeah. then. I did warn you earlier. Alley Cat is the one who created this section right here. Oh, is the she? The path's going both ways, yes. Yeah. Oh, it's a good job then, because I would have got a bit stuck then up the hill if I hadn't have been there. So, yeah, is there anything else you can think of which I've not mentioned with regards to uh, the creature cage and the creature transporter? Um, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> I'm sure there was something else though. That, uh, maybe not. Well, you read the notes. Yeah, true. You know, they're pretty comprehensive, so... There is always something. There's always going to be something. So if any of you um, watch, you so think of it. That, you know, you told them, didn't you tell them they can't load it on a uh, wagon? The large wagon? On a cart. A cart, uh, large, large cart. cart. Rowing boat and sailing oh, or boat. The sailing boat, yeah. That's it. Yeah. All right, so there we go. That's that. Job done. I'll, I better get the creature off, hadn't I? His cage. That would be nice. She'd probably appreciate that. There you go. It's a little thingy to get used to, but you'll get there. Just remembering which one to click and open. Well, you know what? If you get stuck, just refer back to this. Right, okay, moving on to the next item before I get hit by that client side problem. So the next item yeah, we're going to make. Yeah, I'm going to start to do that too. Yeah. The next item is the, uh, what's it called exactly, Rainstorm? The bar table? Yeah, that's it, the bar table. So now, next, we're going to demonstrate the bar table for two purposes. One, because the bar table is a new item added with update 1.7.0. .0. And two, we're going to demonstrate afterwards putting items onto the bar table. So let's make it. So if I go to the crafting window and let's type in now, I'm hoping bar should be enough, surely. And the furniture. Uh, yeah, large bar table. There we go. It's going to use fine carpentry and the items that I'm going to need, as you can see, is what I've just put in my pocket a moment ago, is 15 planks, 5 small nails and 2 iron ribbons, uh, which you can see down here. And all the other stuff that you loaded was the stuff we're going to put on top. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, I took the whole pile, didn't I? Yeah, it's right. I'll drop that again in a minute. Okay, no, so... <laughs> yeah, I forgot you put them all in that pile, didn't you? Yes, I did. I, oh, you know, that's so typical, because with the other piles, I specifically sort of added them one at a time, the items. I dragged them and dropped them out. With this pile of items, I thought, well, let's just save time this time and grab the whole bunch, not realising that that's where you'd stuck the whole pile of all the items you want to demonstrate. Anyway, so let's create the large bar table. So add to the crafting window. It's 52%. So you can, as you can imagine, it's pretty difficult to make. But let's give it a go. He who dares. There we go. Right, so let's now add that to the crafting window. And so I now need to add these items. So we do the ribbons first. Okay, next we can do the nails. And then the planks. Right, now I'm going to put these uh, half these items in this pile over here. Okay, Rainstorm, so you can grab some. No, you can just put them on the ground right there. You don't have to put them over there. Okay. You want them here? No. 
Right, okay, well let's demonstrate how you put items there. So you activate the item you want to place uh, on this table here. You right click the table, go to, I thought it was place. Drop and then place. Oh, you've got to drop it and then place. Okay, so let's drop it first. Yeah, I'm sure I've read on the wiki though, you've done it from your inventory, but never mind. So on ground. No, not drop on oh, ground. Oh, no, place, yes. Drop, place. <laughs> All right, I'm getting there. There we go. That's actually done very nicely. Yeah, that is done very nicely. So let's do the pottery bowl, why not? And let's do my carving knife. Was this my... No, this is stuff you just uh, put there for me to drop. Yeah, I got... If it has damage to it, it's all that stuff that came out of that... Um, coffin. Yeah, this is just so cool now for someone like yourself who likes to... Decorate, uh, yeah. Decorate and uh, do it sort of like a, with role play side to it. So this is going to allow some people to do some amazing role playing, isn't it? Yep. Um, over at Aragorn's place we've done a pub and um, we've done a winery or a wine shop. Um, we did a... Well, we'll have to show all of that. Don't mention it. We'll show it. <laughs> we'll show it in another episode. It's been a long time since you've done a, um, but we haven't done a video of his place yet. He's still oh, no. working on that too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to do a tour. But anyway, here we go. Look at that. So you can decorate now to your heart's content of all different sorts of items. Uh, so, in... so the things that you can place items on are just tables, the stone bench, and bookshelves right now. Nothing else. I wish they would hurry up and put the, the um, cabinet in there um, oh, covered. Yeah, but they've got so much stuff I guess they got to do, you know. I know. Well, let's, this is a start, you know. At least they allow us to put stuff on tables. Let's go show them what a great job you done up in the inn. You don't want to finish these um, bookcases first? Uh, no, we'll come back. I mean, now that we're on this, okay. just showing this placing of items, let's show them what someone with... A creative side how they can do them I did most of my creating over at Aragorn's place did you <laughs> yeah but I did decorate this one in here I'm starting to lag oh we better hurry up then mm -hmm. mind you you can reload if you need to can't you yes but it's you can't yeah no I'm all right oh you are okay. yeah cross his fingers Oh, there's oh, a dog. Whole house shook. My whole house shook on that one. Oh, wow, that is going across. That's not coming down. Oh, there we go. Now, look at that. That is just done. Um, you just really are so artistic, aren't you? Let's I haven't wait. even got in there yet. I'm lagging so bad. All right, I've got to restart it. Yeah, you restart. And I the clients. Oh, no, I can't even do it that way now. Dang. Client. <laughs> yeah, you see, you know, these other things you're asking for, well, there's just one thing that I would like, and that is that client side problem fixed, yes. to be fixed. Yeah. I understand they're busy and all the rest of it, but, you know, it can get painful, can't it, when you've got to keep doing relogging? Yeah. Oh, that sounds so nice outside. <laughs> mm. It's just this nice rumble of the thunder. Right, so when you get here, you can run us over what you put on this table. Oh, so what I put on the table are the wooden um, plates. Um, I put a candle stick on there. It's just a candle. Um, a skull cup, which is made from a goblin skull. Ooh. Then a beer stein, and on the other plate over there I have a slice of cake. With a cherry on top. 
Yeah. No, I think oh, that's strawberry. strawberry, actually. Yeah, with strawberry on top. And then, um, to kind of give it look like salad or veggies or something, I put a cabbage and a head of lettuce in a silver bowl, put the tomato on the table next to it. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's your cabbage and your lettuce mm -hmm. and your tomato. And then I put some green grapes down there and a flask of wine. I had some cheese there, but I think... Uh, Somebody snagged it. <laughs> the dog ate it. I bet the dog ate it. Dogs don't and eat cheese, though, do they? And the marble mortar and uh, pestle. Yeah, a great demonstration of what yeah. you can place on a table. Oh, yeah, my, my next thing is I really want them to make it so this cupboard could have stuff on top. Which cupboard? I can't. Let this me see. Cupboard. Let us see. This one here. Yes. Well, we can't see you, you know, so it's no good you pointing. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. Sorry, we perfectly understand. You drank oh, the invisibility so potion, that was all. Yeah, I did. There you go. There Welcome go. back. This right, cabinet so, here. Yeah, this and cabinet. Yeah, I almost want to take us over to Aragorn's place because um, one of the other things that you can put items on are the um, fireplaces. You can actually, if you can get up high enough, you can actually put um, stuff on the mantle if you can get the right angle. Otherwise, you just put it around the base of it. Uh, um, and then I took, <laughs> for fun, took a um, spit, a lamb on the spit, and put it in the fireplace so it looks like it's being roasted. It looked really cool. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Okay, let's head back. So anyway, it's really a lot of fun now that they have that ability to place items yeah. on tables, beds, um, fireplace, and um, the stone bench. It just makes it, you so you can make it more immersive with yes. the decorating. I mean, like, this bar table's great. Yeah. You know, especially for your pirate cave, eh? Oh. <laughs> Shush! My pirate cave, yes. It's right. still, in, Let's, still in the works. Moving on, not so swiftly, to the next item, which is Rainstorm. This should be the large, empty bookcase. Because you could put stuff on the bookcase that's already uh, has items on it, that's like pre-made, or you can create um, one to, you know, designed the way you want it to look. Right, okay, let's make it. What's it called? It's just a large, empty bookcase. Right. Top or high bookcase. Or high, yeah. High empty bookcase. And low empty bookcase. Oh, empty high bookcase. Bookshelf. Yeah. Is that the one I'm doing? That's the one. Yeah, it uses the fine carpentry. Uh, so let's have a look at the materials which we've got loaded up so four large nails two shafts and eight planks let's add that to the crafting window 52 percent chance so about the same as making the um table that i just made so about the same difficulty okay let's create one and let's face this way Yeah, wow, this certainly is the same. Right, okay, let's now add that. And let's add the shafts first. And now the large nails. And last the planks. Okay, and there we go. So there is. So a this large... one is completely empty. Where the other one, it looks like it's got books and other stuff on it. And just like the table, you can actually place items on the bookcase. Which you're going to demonstrate for us. Yeah, look at that. And that doesn't that look just absolutely cool? 
I mean, seriously. And it's even got like a halo of light around yeah, the candle. Yeah, I think that's a bad graphic. I mean, they have. No, I like it. it. I like it. I looks, do. Looks I'm just cool. saying it's probably not meant to be like that. So, this large empty bookcase and the other bookcase is a part of this new latest update. Yeah, now I want to show you something. Um, you, when you move this object, it, I mean this bookcase, it moves everything with it because if you right click on it and say open, you'll see all the items that are on the bookcase now part of the bookcase, like in it. So right click on the bookcase, say open. No, I don't have an open option. You don't have an open option? Nope. No. I can take it. I can place it. Can I can you push secure it? it. I can move it. Oh. So, so when, you move it, can, when you move it? Let's push it. Yeah. Shall I push gently or just push? Yep, just push. Yeah. See all the stuff go with it. Yeah, well, oh, I'll tell you what. Look at that halo. Look. <laughs> Oh, the halo's gone. Yeah. So, but I guess that's part of the GM thing. I see it as an open. But it's it's all one item now. When you, if you move it, it's acts as one item. But you can but still every, take the individual items yes, off. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. Yeah, that's cool. And I love the way that they've done that, yeah, because that would just be a royal pain if you had to just keep taking everything off and then putting yeah, it back on. Yeah, there was on. a game... That when you push the bookcase, all the other items were still floating in the oh, air. Oh no! Like, don't you do no, it! No, no, no! <laughs> don't you go there? We don't go naming and shaming. That's no, not, I'm not what we I'm do. I'm just saying. So I really like how they did this. Yes, a good example of a yeah. job well done. Right? Yes. Should we move on? Sure. Let's see. I can't remember what's next. Oh wait a minute! It's the that. Small, the low, the low one. Ah right. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, yeah, so this is the low bookcase, is it? Mm-hmm. I'm going to face it this... No, I don't suppose it matters. Let's come back a bit and do it that way. Right, okay, so I don't need that. Let's open up the recipe window. Yeah, low bookshelf. Shall I do the low bookshelf as opposed to the empty? Because I did the empty for the the uh, tall no, do one. Do the empty. You've already yeah. Do the empty because it's the new item. The low oh. bookshelf is has been in the game for a long time. Oh, is it? Okay. Right. The items you need for this. Let's open up my inventory. It's easier to show from there. One shaft, two large nails, and four planks. So let's add that to the crafting window. And 66, so it's easier to make than the previous two items. So let's do it. Let's now add that. And get these components put in the crafting window. So very easy and simple to make this one. And there we go. Right, do you want to demonstrate placement with this one? So I just for kicks and giggles, I put a um, the regular high bookcase there, so you can see what the two look like. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. good for a comparison. And um, let me let's see, place. So, see, I put, uh, you could still put stuff on the shelf. I just put that uh, candle on the shelf there. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So, it just depends on if you want to create it from scratch yourself or if you want to um, enhance what's already completed. Mm. Right? Yep. So, let's see, grab this... Um, bowl here and we'll just put it on this one here. 
grab this ruby. Oops, I grabbed the whole bookcase. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> this. Put the ruby on top. Yeah. See? That works for me. Yeah, very good, isn't it, now? Yep. Yeah, I like that. There you go. That's the cherry on the top. Yeah, so something about that moving part. I do like that uh, halo around it, though. That does yeah, it almost sort of... looks like... Well, there are um, candle holders, or here in the U.S. anyway, that has like a, a metal piece behind it to help reflect the light. And that's what that reminds me of. Yeah. Okay, and so the last item you're going to make is the new archaeology journal. It's and another... I'm going to mention at this point that we're not going to go into all of the archaeology with this latest update, simply because, I don't know how long we've been recording, but this surely will be pushing <laughs> our luck doing even showing this last item so we will look into the archaeology and how it's changed in another episode hey for now we're just going to make the new journal that you can create because you guys i'm sure can have a lot of fun with it with doing uh, archaeology so okay let's open up the recipe window you're going to need a book and three strips of leather and before you start shouting at us why haven't we shown you how to make these they only have to watch don't yeah. they the um almanac episode don't they right mm -hmm. there you Where go we you see. The leather almanac. Yep. yeah there you go so that's why we're not showing how to make them now right let's go into crafting and you know, for I'm this almanac up here so you can see what it looks like you'll see you oh, can yeah, put yeah. that one next to it on on this uh, bookcase and that way we can see what the two look like next to each other so to create the archaeology journal just type in j-o-u and it will come up and then you'll see just like i've shown above you need one book three strips of leather so let's add that and oh look at that so easily going to make this let's put that down to one and create there we go, so let's add that to the crafting window. And let's add strips. There we go, an archaeological. Archie. Oh, I can't even say that. <laughs> no, you know when. Ar Archaeology? The client's not glitching out, I am. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, there is the journal. And you can fit up to 28, 21 reports. No, 22 pages. <laughs> oh, is it 22? I thought it was 21. Yeah. No, it said 22. <laughs> All right, you can fit, I stand corrected, you can fit 22 reports into your journal. So as you do your archaeology, it will record uh, that your finds into the journal pages. But that's where we're going to leave it with the uh, archaeology. You're going, to, you're going to put it up on the uh, next to the almanac here. Yeah, because that's all we wanted to do: make one to show it and demonstrate the placement. So let's do that. So activate and in actual fact, right click, drop place, and yeah, it's so cool because you can so finely place it now, can't you? Yeah, be good. There you go. Doesn't that look cool? There's the almanac. Episode 163, the almanac. Yes, yeah, so if you <laughs> want to know how to make strips of leather and a book, watch, what was it, 163. 100, episode 163. That will show you how to make the leather almanac. Okay, anything else you want to add, Rainstorm? Nope, that's it for today. I think cool, that I was believe enough. it is. Wow, yeah. I like the two, I like the look of the two different books. Now and now that we can make books, we can stick them on the bookshelves too. Is there? There's another use, isn't there, for bookmaking? 
Um, paper? I don't know. Oh, uh, oh, I was reading something. I can't think. Oh, I'm not going to go there. No, I'm not going to go there. Otherwise, I'll just get myself all messed up. <laughs> right, okay, so we've shown plenty for this episode. The most important thing, I think, was the creature cages. Yep. Uh, so, job done with regards to that. We've shown some other stuff, but we haven't covered everything. I mean, like I say, in the update notes for 1.7.0.0, it mentions about how you can just uh, switch dirt to sand and sand to dirt in a new way as opposed to the dropping of the on the ground of it now you can just so there are things we haven't shown you maybe putting it in piles no you know when you walk along and say there's a sandy beach and you've got dirt in your pocket you can turn this the, the sand into dirt by dropping this the dirt down right. on top of the sand well right. so they in this latest that update they've changed the way you can switch that Oh. So you can just create it without having to drop it. Oh, anyway, so you know, perhaps if there's anything very important, someone to mention. Oh, can we show? We missed that, and can we show it? Then fine, leave a comment, mention that, and we'll look into doing that in a future episode. Okay, so anything you want to finish with, Brainstorm? Nope, <laughs> I think that's done for the day. <laughs> okay, you say your goodbyes. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you very much for all your time and effort and getting gathering all the components and spending the whole day sorting this out. Thank you very much for that rainstorm. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.